Welcome to Random Tutorials. Today I'm showing you how to do the 1.5.7 Packet Tracer Network Representation Activity. So once you have the Cisco Packet Tracer installed and the uh, activity installed and opened, this is the screen you'll be greeted with. So just we'll click Cancel for now and you'll have this these are your instructions. I'm just gonna change the window size a little bit so it all fits in one screen for you. So it'll give you the objectives. The ob objectives are the network model is the activity incorporates many of the technologies that you will master in your CC and A studies. It represents a simplified version of how a small to medium sized businesses network might look. Feel free to explore the networks on your own when you are ready proceed through the following steps and answer the questions. Note, it is not important that you understand everything you see and do in this activity. Feel free to explore the networks on your own. If you wish to proceed more systematically, follow the steps below. Answer the questions in, your, in the best of your ability. Instructions. Step 1. Identify common components of a network as represented in Packet Tracer. The icon toolbar on the bottom left hand corner has various categories of networking components. You should see categories that correspond intermediate devices, in devices, and media. So here you'll see at the bottom left you'll see network devices, in devices, components, connections, miscellaneous, and multi-user connections. Whenever you click on one, under it, it'll give you everything in the folder. So here you have routers, switches, hubs, and things like that for network devices. In devices, you click there, you'll get these. If you click one, you view more options. Just like that. If you click on routers, you'll see all the routers you can choose from. And that's what we're going to be using to build things like this. Here it says, the connections category with the lightning bolt icon represents the network media supported by Packet Tracer. That'll be right here, the lightning bolt icon. If you click there, you can see all the different connections you can use. Then it says there is also in devices categories and two categories specific to Packet Tracer. Here are the in devices category. You can choose from any of these. And multi user connections, which are right here. Let's see intermediate devices categories. On the bottom left, it'll select, you can see network devices. And then here you can see all your intermediate area devices. You got routers, switches, hubs, wireless devices, security, and WAN emulation. These are all your intermediate mediary devices. Now it says without entering into the internet cloud or internet or entrant cloud, how many icons in the topology represents endpoint devices? Only one connection leading to them. And here they're talking about all these very outside of the edges devices. So you got the tablet, laptops, uh, printers, things like that. So we got one, two, three, four, five, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. There's 15 in devices. Now it says, without count the two clouds, how many icons in the topology represent intermediary devices? Multiple connections leading to them. Here we can count here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So there are 11 intermediary devices. So there are 11 intermediary devices. Now it's asking how many in devices are not desktop computers? So let's do the same thing we did last time, except we're going to exclude the desktop computers. We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We've got 8 in devices that are not desktop computers. 
Now it's asking how many different types of media connections are used in the network topology. Here we're just counting these lines here, which are the cables, and they want to know how many different types. So you have one, two, three, and four. Now in step two, it says explain the purpose of the devices. A, in packet tracer, only the server PT device can act as a server. Desktop or laptop PCs cannot act as a server. Based on your studies so far, explain the client server model. The client server model is a distributed application structure that partitions tasks or workloads between the providers of a resource or service called servers and service requesters, which are called clients. So here you can see these would be the server requesters or the clients right here. B. List at least two functions of intermediary devices. Intermediary devices interconnect in end devices. So these here would be the intermediary devices, the R4, S4, and wireless AP. And you can see those over here in network devices. You have routers, switches, hubs, wireless devices. This is a switch, this is a router, this is a wireless device. These are all intermediary devices. These devices provide connectivity and work behind the scenes to ensure that data flows across the network. Intermediary devices connect the individual hosts to the network and can connect multiple individual networks to form an internetwork. C. List at least two criteria for choosing a network media type. So a few things you need to look for when you're choosing a network media type. You need to check the distance the media can, can successfully carry a signal, the environment in which the media is to be installed, the amount of data and the speed at which it must be transmitted, and the cost of the media installation. Those are all things you want to look for when choosing a network media type. Step 3. Compare and contrast LANs and WANs. Explain the differences between a LAN and a WAN. Give examples of each. A LAN, which is a local area network, is a group of computers and network devices connected together in a small area. These are usually within the same building. So here in a home office, this is a LAN, everything in this box. It is connected. So here we have a uh, router. Oops. We have a router, which is connected to a modem, which is connected to the internet. So the modem is connected to the internet, so it receives everything from the internet, which sends it to a router, and the router then distributes it to all the end devices, like a printer, a desktop, a laptop, or a tablet. So that is what a LAN would be most likely used for. A WAN, wide area network, can connect several lanes together and is used for large areas like the internet. So here we have these two are WANs, the wide area network, and they can connect all these lanes together and, and that can be traveled over very large distances. So we have the internet, which is a WAN, and the intranet. Then it says C, how many lanes do you see? Well here we know each of these little clusters are lanes. So we see one, two, three. D. The, inter the internet in the packet tracer network is oversimplified and does not re represent the structure and form of the real internet. Briefly describe the internet. The internet is a global network of computers and other electronic devices. So it connects all these things together. E. What are some of the common ways a home user connects to the internet? They can connect through cable, satellite, dial-up, Wi-Fi, or DSL. These are all ways they can connect to the internet. F. What are some common methods that businesses use to connect to the internet in your area? They can use the same things. They can also use ISP, cable, DSL. Then it asks, it says challenge question. Now here we're at the challenge question. Now that you have add had an opportunity to explore the network rep represented in the packet tracer activity, you may have picked up a few skills that you would like to try out, or maybe you would like the opportunity to explore this network in more detail. Realizing that most of what you see and experience in packet tracer is currently beyond your skill level, 
Here are some challenges you might want to attempt. Do not worry if you cannot do them all. You will be a packet tracer master user and network designer soon enough. Add an end device to the topology and connect it to one of the LANs with a media connection. What else does this device need to send, a, uh, send data to other end users? Can you provide the information? Is there a way to verify that you uh, correctly connected the device? So here's what they want us to do. They want us to add an end device. So go over here to the second icon, it says end devices. And you can go over here and see which one you want to choose from. We'll just set collect on the PC, click and drag it over. We'll add it to the home office. Now to connect that to the uh, router, you can go over here to the connections, which is the lightning bolt. We'll just select the black copper straight through wire, click on it, and select right here. And we can just attach it to Ethernet 3. Then you can bring it over and select it to PC0. And we can just add it to fast Ethernet 0. And now it'll be connected. Now this won't actually work yet because you have to set up an IP address and a subnet mask. Now here it asks us to add a new intermediary device to one of the networks and connect it to one of the LANs or WAN with a media connection. What else does the device need to serve as an intermediary to other devices in the network? So here we can just select on the network devices, we can go to switches. We'll just select this one, the 3560, click and drag it here. We'll go to connections. We can click on the copper straight. And we're going to attach it to D2. We're going to click there. Go to fast Ethernet 01. Click on the switch we just added. And fast Ethernet 01. And now it is connected. Now this device can't co communicate with anything else right now because it hasn't been configured properly. Now here it wants us to open a new instance of Packet Tracer and create a new network with at least two LANs connected by a WAN, connect all the devices, investigate the original Packet Tracer activity to see what else you might need to do to make your new network functional. Record your thoughts and save your Packet Tracer file may want to revisit the network later after you have mastered a few more skills. So the first thing you do is you can go to File on the top left and click on New. It's going to ask you if you want to save this current file. You can click Yes if you want to. I'm going to select No for now because I don't really need it. So now we're going to go over here back to the network devices and we're going to add a switch. We're just going to select 2960 for now. Click it there, just to add it into our workspace. And these are going to be our two LANs. Then we're going to add some end devices to it, like a PC. Add one there, there, there. Just, uh, so we can have a few LANs set up. And then we're going to need to connect these together. So we're going to go to the Connections tab. We're going to click the copper one. Click there, we're going to use Fast Ethernet. Just click on 01. There, Fast Ethernet to Ethernet 02. And we're just going to keep on doing this until we have them all connected. Now, if you want, you can highlight these or put them in boxes by clicking right here on these two bubbles. You can add fill or no fill. I'm going to select the box, leave it at no fill, just so I can outline them. One there, and one there. You can just X out. That way you know these two are groups of their lands. And then now we can connect these two lands to routers by clicking here. Going down to the router, and we're going to use a 2911. Add one there, and add one there. Go back to the connections. Select on the copper straight. You can add these to the 
gigabyte ethernet zero zero and then gigabyte ethernet zero one and we connect that one to zero zero and that one to zero one so that now those two are connected to routers and now we connect these two routers together by using a serial DTE cable but at the moment if you try to add it it won't connect because there's no serial port so we're going to add one down here to unselect that cable click on your router we're going to go to hwic-2t and now you have to make sure you turn the router off otherwise when you try to connect it you will it won't let you see so you have to power it off okay we'll click zoom in scroll down and here you can click on that to turn it off click and drag to add it in and you can turn it back on the next out. We'll do that to this one over here as well. Go to HWIC-2T. We're going to zoom in, turn it off, click and drag, turn it back on, next out. Now we connect these two using the serial DTE click. You go to serial 0-1-0 and click that one to 0 one 0 and then we're finished. So that was the 1.5.7 Packet Tracer Network Representation Assignment. If you enjoyed the video or learned something, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.